yeah. as a streetcar, there's nothing safe about these, especially when you're lowering them. And I don't know, dude. I always think about that when I follow like semis and shit. I'm like, if I yeah. if I really went into the semi, I would lose my head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always think about that accident I had in my my GTS. Like, and you know, jumping was in the passenger seat, and I always think about like. I was so lucky with that because it could have been 10 times worse and right. like how stupid I was. And that makes me, you know, it brings me to like, I see these videos and stuff all the time and it's just kids being kids, I guess, but people street drifting and whatnot. I'm thinking of one specific guy. He has a red beamer uh, and he's like street drifting all the time, going on and off on ramps, like, you know, monging up and down the street and stuff. And it's like when I was a kid or younger, I would have not given a second thought to that stuff. And, you know, it's kind of funny because I'm being super hypocrite, uh, hypocritical right now because we were just talking earlier about, like, me trying to fucking get the stage to slide. Right. But um, this guy is, like, doing full-blown drifting on the street. So that's a whole other thing. But it's just <laughs> if you hit somebody else – not only are you getting fucked, but you're going to take somebody out with you. I think and that's I where just, I stand. Like, I'm not against street drifting at all. Like, I will never, I will never backpedal on that ever. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I'm not against it, period. What I am against is people doing it irresponsibly or doing it around cars that, that you know, don't deserve to be drifted around. Like, just random people, you know, going to work or doing whatever, like, don't put them in danger because you're trying to fucking sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's where I'm at is like, I have nothing against street drifting if you do it safely and there are safe ways to do it. But Mm -hmm. no, you're totally right. If you're like going around cars and public traffic or pedestrians or whatever, I think that shit is hella whack. Um, Dude, I'm in this uh, black auto enthusiast group and there's this one guy who posted a video of him like he was flying down the highway on his motorcycle and he was like you know and he had already just in the co- address in the comments He's like yeah i don't want to hear it i know what i'm doing blah, blah blah i'm taking my life under my own hands blah, blah blah and it's like it's not about you i wanted to write into the comments like dude this is not about you like you're doing like 160 miles an hour down the highway and you might feel like you're in control of yourself until you're not right and Right. Even if you don't kill somebody else, you might traumatize somebody, slam into the side of them in your fucking motorcycle or someone pulls out in front of you. And it's just it's not worth it. I don't understand. Yeah. People don't think about others, you know, and like how it would affect somebody else. Like if if he you're right, like if he doesn't give a shit to die, that's great. But if he hits somebody else and they have to deal with like that image and that experience for the rest of their lives, like that's that's hella shitty. Yeah. man. So let's talk about Alec Baldwin for a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) i'm playing let's not address that at all um man we've had a good episode we've uh i think we should chop it was there anything else you wanted to talk about or do you have any roses you wanted to give out uh i did last time do you have anyone fuck man no i i did not come prepped for roses today yeah i guess we can chalk it up to giving prison mike his roses honestly yeah Uh, that's a good one that's a good one i'll give prison mike roses he's like you know we're glad you didn't die yeah, we're cool. It's cool to see you do something that's just straight up ridiculous <laughs> and survive. Yeah, and we hope you bounce back better, man. Hell yeah, that's what if we're he at. hears this. Thank you guys for listening. As always, we're on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, um, and that's it. I said social media. That's it. We also have YouTube, I suppose, for the podcast. Um, it's just at sincerely Japan. If you want to send us emails, it's sincerely Japan Podcast at gmail dot com. Um, aside from that, man, thanks. Thanks for listening. Peace.